Hello everyone and welcome back to Equilinox where we are looking over our lovely lush pink lands. I am so excited. Look at how beautiful these are. Oh, I cannot wait to see where we are going to be spreading even more of these lovely biome bits. But we do need to actually stabilize the lush land a little bit. It seems like it's having a hard time holding on to the edges. And I think that's actually because we need some more rocks. I think the primroses love being next to rocks. No, no, no. I think it's actually the lush grass. No, no, no. It's actually the pink trees. Is that what likes being next to rocks? No, huh, I could have sworn there was something that was like, I want to be next to a rock, but apparently I don't need to worry about it right now. But anyway, that aside, we are trying to make this as pink as possible because this is going to be the heart of our beautiful world where we will be able to cast our eyes out along the edges of the turnip swamps, through Tata's jungles, across the Yu Kir mountain range, Chicken Valley, where we can look back at the lilac field and over to our wonderful Woodland of Wonders and the Finaw Crater, our banana farm, the Cranky Camel Creek. I love all of this so much. I am so happy with what we have managed to do, with what we have done, and with what we will be adding. But we do need to finish unlocking some things. Oh, which reminds me, speaking of unlocking things, we have bears! We have bears! And I am going to need to add the bears in pretty soon. But I want to focus. Let's get some of this work done. Do we have any pink mushrooms yet? Um, I spent a bit on trying to convince one of these mushrooms to have pink children but I don't think it actually took because we have all these other mushrooms that I think are kind of in the way so I'm actually going to remove many of those mushrooms and try to make room for this mushroom to go ahead and pass on pink children because we need to have a pink tall mushroom uh, oh, like this little one right here yes Look, it is a pink, oh, that's a pink red mushroom. Yes, a pink red mushroom in order to make a tall mushroom. So let's go ahead and pluck this little thing up right there. It's so darn cute. It's perfect. And we are gonna plop it right down. Hopefully it will be happy right here. Are you happy? Yay, it's happy. Okay, so the red mushroom that is pink really likes being here. And it is going to start creating some tall mushrooms, which will spread themselves through the land and hopefully solidify the edges of the lush biome territory. And speaking of what can go in the lush biome, though, I do want to go and grab a sparrow. We have a whole bunch of white sparrows that I have been breeding up over here. So I'm going to snag one of them. It's been caught up in the winds of change. It's been blown across to this new land and put him down here where he promptly died? Where did it go? No, that wasn't part of the plan. I was supposed to get, I was supposed to get a dove out of that nonsense. Oh my gosh, I don't think sparrows can survive inside of there. Um, they can't live in lush biomes, but in order to get a dove, you need to evolve it from a sparrow in a lush biome, don't you? Oh my gosh, I feel terrible. I can't believe I just did that. I'm so sorry, little bird. You were supposed to be caught up happily in the winds of change and, and, and then like gone to a new land and it was supposed to be beautiful and wonderful, but apparently it needs to live on the edges. Okay, noted. Well, let's see if I can create just like an edge. Hmm, where there might be some trees. Hmm, maybe over here? This might be a good spot. Let's put down some trees over here and there'll be just like a little teensy forest. Oh, what did I just get? <gasps> Mushroom mastery! Mushrooms are a wonderful addition to almost any habitat. Work your way through the mushroom evolution tree and unlock all the different mushroom species to complete this task. And we have done it! Yes! Okay. So we just completed the mushroom mastery. We have a tall mushroom, which I think is going to be quite cute. And I kind of want to make all of its children different colors, like right off the bat, like cyan. Oh, that's very expensive. But I just want to have 
I'm going to do it. And we're just going to let only those mushrooms kind of spread because I, I just, there's a lot of pink. I'm ready for a little bit of variety. Okay. And I think tall cyan mushrooms uh, with the cute little curl at the very top would be quite nice. Oh, and look at the snow falling in Yukir Mountain. Oh, that's so fun. And Knickers. Wait, what? Is that a sheep with a unique mutation that I missed somehow? Oh my gosh, it's a pink sheep. It is a pink sheep. Knickers, I don't remember. I don't remember you, like, is that red? Oh my gosh. It's a unique mutation all on its own of a, of a different, ah, oh, this is so cool. Knickers, I want you to come when you're old enough, you're gonna come and you're gonna move next to the lush biome. That's gonna be fantastic. But let's try to get doves today. So we're gonna go ahead and come down here this is a grassland right now we're going to lives in grassland find a happy tree or two a wobbly tree maybe hmm what do wobbly trees like to have next to them birds i think well we could move a duck over here a duck should be just fine uh yeah and actually a wobbly tree might be really pretty next to this edge so i'm gonna put down a wobbly tree here and then we haven't really done a lot with ducks, but I know we could do more. So where are my ducks? I'm gonna put a duck right here. And that should make the wobbly tree happier. Oh my gosh, it's still dying. No, 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 come on. You gotta put up with this wobbly tree. They're so fussy, I swear. You gotta put up with it, okay? I wish you could like breed up their resilience to just make them even stronger. Um. There we go. It likes stones and birds. It will have birds soon. Out of this little duck named Katie, who wants to become a peacock if it eats. <gasps> if it eats bees, I can totally make that happen. Trust me. Uh, but I need bigger trees over here, just in case that tree doesn't work. Oh, a birch tree. That would be nice. Just a couple nice birch trees. I think there's a few things with birch trees that we could evolve that I haven't gotten to yet. Oh, and a nut tree! The altitude is too low to support nut trees, but gosh, I do love nut trees. Uh, could we have a flower tree over here? I mean, it wouldn't be ideal. We could have one flower tree up on top of this hill. Um, so it's not like 100% ideal, but hey, it's working. And are there any fun color ash trees we could move? That would be kind of fun. Wobbly tree, cedar tree, birch tree. What can I evolve a birch tree into? It's been a while. A pagoda tree? Ooh, if it had sunflowers nearby, I can make that magic happen. Oh my goodness. Wait for me. Um, and what do sunflowers... Sunflowers don't like to have trees nearby. Well, sorry, Charlie. You're going to have to put up with it because this is going to be fantastic. I'm going to have a whole bunch of sunflowers up along this little range right here. All right, so let's go ahead and speed things up. We are going to allow the morning light to spread across the land. We have our little duck duck, I see it. Hello, little one. Hello, Katie. Can I do something special with you to celebrate the fact you are so, so nice? Let's try to get some white ducks over here. So Katie might have some white duck babies. And should I put some pansies down? That would be kind of pretty. Some nice pansies or some potatoes just because. <laughs> I kind of want to have a couple potatoes just because I can. Like, for literally no other reason than I can have potatoes. Um, so we're going to put those down. And then I think, can I put a blueberry bush? Yeah, I can put blueberry bushes up along the edge. So I'm going to put down a couple blueberry bushes. Uh, just kind of scattered about. Mostly by the edge of the water. And then... All of that will hopefully go on to support some insects in a little bit. But let's let this carry on. Katie is eating her water plants. The Oh, I wonder if we can get bulrush. Look at this. The wheat has spread over from chicken area. Uh, can we get bulrush down here? That would be useful to have. That's barley. Um, There's the bulrush. Nice, because I think the ducks actually will eat bulrush. So I've been meaning to sprinkle bulrush up along the edges of all of the lakes, and I just keep forgetting. So hopefully this will help out. All right, there we go. Now we have a few beautiful sunflowers. Can I breed up the... I guess I could... Once I have enough DP, I can get the uh, pagoda tree. Why not? 
we'll just let that start going. The wobbly tree is still cranky, but I think this will be good enough that with a little bit of help from spreading the lush biome, we will be able to get a bird that will turn into a dove. So look at this wonderful, charming little area. I kind of love the very specific spots where all of the elements need to converge just so that we create for the sake of trying to get specific creatures. All right, where are, okay, come here, you, one of you. I need to grab, oh, there's another one. Ah, really hard, really, really hard to snag these guys while they're in the air sometimes. All right, there we go. A nice sparrow, population density high. Guess what, my dear, as we fly over the deer, hopefully this will do it and you can live right there. Yes, it's up and at it. Fantastic, how are you? Little dove, where are you going? No, come back. <laughs> you weren't supposed to, oh my gosh. It flew all the way back across the water because I think it was in the middle of building something and it was not going to be deterred from its building. Um, what about, uh, I'm pretty sure that's exactly the one that we were just working with. What about this one? Hold still you. All right, uh, I can't believe I have to, We've got a pagoda tree! All right, let's try again. You can't survive in a lush biome, but what about... Did you just die? Why can I not have sparrows survive? <laughs> this is so sad. Oh, and what does my pagoda tree need to be? It's very happy where it's at. An elegant grassland tree that thrives in damper areas. It can also survive in marshy and jungle-like conditions and prefers a stony area. A slow-going tree, but it looks fantastic. Oh, that's gonna be so fun. What colors can it become? All sorts of beautiful colors. Oh, I like the lilac, but that's gonna be a long way away. All right. Well, since apparently I cannot have a single sparrow survive. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They're back. <laughs> They came back! Yes! And I think if they just fly over the lush area, we need to make this area a little bit more lush. And then I think we can finally have doves. So we're gonna gently pull back the grassland a little bit right there. And then we are going to get a pink tree down here and over here and here. There we go. Just kind of spread those a little bit. We want to spread that lush biome. I really want to get bamboo. That would be very exciting, to be honest. All right, yes, all right, so they're flying around. They're eating off the blueberries. I don't know if they can actually have any children. I might need to work on that. Wait for it. And then we're gonna put a few lush pieces over there. And I should hopefully I'm not sure how the birds determine like where they're gonna go. They circle and then if they fly over the lush land, it's 20% lush. Is it is it like where they live that matters? So I think I need to have the lush sort of poke its way over here where they keep landing inside of this tiny little remove mini grass where they keep landing inside of this blueberry bush. We're gonna go ahead and gently push the lush. Yes, okay, that should be enough. All right, come here, little one. Oh, I can't get the sparrow. I can't get the, oh, there's a nest that they're building in the blueberry bush. Oh gosh, that just tickles me. Um, well, hurry, little one. All right, can you become a dove? Greater than 20% lush. I guess they're not quite there. Oh, he's on the 18. <laughs> How could this happen? All right, let's remove the wheat that spread right here. What about now? Almost, almost. Remove the grass that spread right here. Almost, almost. Forest, grassland. All right, what about one little primrose right there? Very expensive primrose, but that primrose might earn us a dove if we did this right. Come on, little one. You're kind of hard to click on. All right, what about this one? Okay, come on. Come on, guys, you are definitely... Okay, that one's not nesting in the lush spot, but this one is. 
Greater than 20% lush? Come on! Dang it! Did you move nest? <laughs> Alright, well there is a nest right over here. Maybe if I, I make this nest the nest. Let's see. And then I come in. What about now? 20%. Come on. Come on, little sparrow. Okay, we've got the nest being built. Greater than 20% lush! <laughs> oh, this is so tricky. I think it's still just barely... It should be. It should be. Oh, and there's a baby! Look, there's a little baby sparrow with a tiny little white head. Oh, there it is! It's in the grass! It's lush grass! <laughs> can't you... Can't you feel the lushness, little one? Or is that less than... No, it's greater than 20%. You're literally coming down into the primroses. I should be able to make you a dove. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna have to keep going. Oh my gosh, where is he going? All right, he's walking across. This is literally the land of lushness that you are now walking into. There's no way... You're literally in the lush territory. How can this not be? It's 30%. It's wandering further and further in. Maybe it's trying to help me. It wants to be a dove. Come on, little guy. You really want to be a dove? Here, I wonder if I actually control it myself. Take control. And make it climb up. All right, it's health and environment still okay. Is it because it's not fully grown? I don't think that would matter. All right. This is definitely the lush land. This little baby sparrow has now wandered into the most lush of territories. Okay, quickly, quickly. Is it because it's not fully grown? <sighs> All right. Well, we'll have to continue to work on that somehow, some way. I'm not exactly sure how. Oh, wait, 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 dove, dove, dove! I saw something that said dove! Go, go, go! We're gonna get doves, you guys! Oh, I'm so excited. Dang it! The evolutionary process for dove has stopped. Continue evolving. Oh, I think we finally managed it. Thank goodness. They left behind some babies. There's little tiny sparrows who only know the beauty of the lush lands popping up like daisies uh, or primroses, I suppose. Look at them go. Oh, they're flying! Oh, this is so exciting. And we have our white ducks that seem to be doing well. Uh-oh. It paused. Why did you pause? You're literally flying over a lush biome. Okay, but when it nests, it's in a lush biome, so it should be okay. Yeah, we have all these little white sparrows. I'm so excited. There's little baby ducks following their mama. The land is just thriving, in my opinion. Uh, also, I wish we could have more sunflowers. Why are the sunflowers being so fussy? Apparently, they really like to have a lot of room from one another. But we'll worry about making cool sunflowers later. I think I made white sunflowers long, long time ago over here. <gasps> I did! Oh, look at that! Oh, that's so pretty! I really like that. So we do have some white sunflowers trying to to pop up over here. I'm gonna remove a few of these to try to encourage the white sunflower to spread its seeds. I knew I had somebody like, oh, and there's our little red sheep. Oh gosh, they're, they're like continuing on. That is so exciting. That was a mutation all on its own. And speaking of which, if we wait just another minute here, I think we are about to enjoy doves. There we are, my friends. We now have our very first wee little dove who will be completely content in the lush biome. A beautiful white bird who loves trees, loves grassland, forest, woodland, and the lush biome. It will build a nest and it will make a nest in order to have its own children. But it has come and it has, it has come to join us. What colors can we make the dove? What, what's special that we can do with the dove? We can make blue doves, cyan doves, pink doves. We can make black doves or gray doves or beige doves. I guess the gray ones would be more like pigeons. But I think I just want a bunch of white doves for a little while. Maybe some big white doves. Why not? Let's have some fun with it and just increase by 25% because we can. 
And then let's keep an eye on this dove. I want to see it take flight. There we go. Come on, little one. You can do it. Up into the air. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Look at how beautiful. And there we are, my friends. We have doves flying in gorgeous loops over and over and over the beautiful waters and the gorgeous lands that we have made. I am so happy. And we've got the white sparrows who are their brethren hanging out right down here, making nests in the wobbly tree. I love this. This is so much fun with the white ducks nearby. This is going to be just so much fun. But all right. Oh gosh, we have a really cool cyan. Look at that really cool cyan tall mushroom. Apparently there's a few of them. I'm going to go ahead and remove that mushroom to try to give my tall mushrooms a chance. But this is, this is just so fun. I'm amazed at how I never really get tired of this. But all right, guys, with the addition of the beautiful doves, we do need to carry on and continue a few of our other quests. I love seeing the sunflowers that thrive in the chicken valleys, and I really want to work on trying to get the bamboo and bears next. So that is going to be one of my big goals. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for the sake of our beautiful doves that are now flying over the lush biome. And if you would like to join me for this and literally Literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye!